In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And welcome. It is good for us to be here. This is a wonderful day for all of us especially for the young people, the girls and boys who are to be confirmed today. It's an important day for you, not just for today, but indeed for all the days of your life. And we'll think on these things with you a little later on. It's a wonderful day for your families who have taken time away from their usual schedule of work and other concerns to be with you for this day of celebration. And so it's a great day for all of us in the parish as well that we have a new generation of young people who are saying yes to the gift of the Spirit in your life. So today is rich in blessing. We take a quiet moment as we begin in the Consciously in the presence of the Lord, we acknowledge the blessing of our faith for the light and hope it brings to our hearts, the blessing of one another in our families, and the blessing that we all enjoy in the friendship of this community. We're always in need of each other's mercy and understanding and of God's forgiveness. So together we pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit coming near and dwelling graciously within us may make of us a perfect temple of his glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let's be seated for the word of God. Our 
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Jesus had shown himself alive to the apostles after his passion by many demonstrations. For 40 days he had continued to appear to them and tell them about the kingdom of God. When he had been at table with them, he had told them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for what the Father had promised. It is, he had said, what you have heard me speak about. John baptized with water, but you, not many days from now, will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Now having met together, they asked him, Lord, has the time come? Are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know times or dates that the Father has decided by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and then you will be my witnesses, not only in Jerusalem, but throughout Judea and Samaria, and indeed to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. If you are guided by self-indulgence, you will be in no danger of yielding to if you are guided by the Spirit, you will be in no danger of yielding to self-indulgence. Since self-indulgence is the opposite of the Spirit, the Spirit is totally against such a thing. And this is precisely because the two are so opposed that you do not always carry out good intentions. What the Spirit brings is very different. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, trustfulness, gentleness, and self-control. You cannot belong to Christ Jesus unless you crucify all self-indulgent passions and desires. Since the Spirit is our life, let us be directed by the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Shine up.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we shall come to him and make our home with him. Those who do not love me do not keep my words, and my word is not my own. It is the word of the one who sent me. I have said these things to you while still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all I have said to you. Peace I bequeath to you. My own peace I give you, a peace that the world cannot give. This is my gift to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. The Gospel of the Lord. How are we doing? You're doing very well. You're singing beautifully, playing beautifully, and weaving eloquently and clearly. And you've done lots of artwork, so you have prepared very well for today. And it's only right and fitting that you do because this is a very important day. Very important day for yourselves, not just for today, but for all the days of your life. And I'll explain why. It's a while ago since I first used a jingle from the musical, The Sound of Music, the stage version. Uh, And the jingle goes, a bell isn't a bell until you ring it. A song isn't a song until you sing it. Love isn't love until you give it. And I'm going to add another line, but I don't want you to complete it just yet. I want you to think about it. The line I I, I add is, a gift isn't a gift until you think in it first. I'll come back in a minute. When I prepare for confirmation, I prepare a card by which you can remember your confirmation day. And on the card, uh, for this time, I choose carefully a piece of scripture. And it's the gospel reading that Father Nelius has just read. And It's some words directly from Jesus to his disciples. And two things I pick out from them that are important for you today and beyond today. The two things he promises with the gift of the Spirit to remind you and remind us of all that he has said. The gift of remembering of what he has said. The other thing that he says, my peace I give you. And his final words are, do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. The gift of peace, of personal serenity, two precious gifts memory and peace. On the other side, you will find that there is some 
there's an image of oil being poured out very generously. And underneath there are some words of explanation, which in summary, the title is The Oil of Gladness. And these words come from the very earliest days of the church. These were words offered to the early Christians, which was to remind them that this oil with, who, with which you are anointed today is no ordinary oil. It's sacred oil. It's consecrated oil. And through it, for those who accept it, it is the oil of gladness. Something that will bring great grace and goodness to your life for those who accept it. A bell isn't a bell until you. A song isn't a song until you. Love isn't love until you. And the gift isn't a gift until you. it wasn't so handy after all, was it? <laughs> Some said receive, others said you give, others said yeah. If I got a gift and I threw it over in the corner, would you see that as a gift? No because I would have just simply dismissed it. But if I take a gift and I unwrap it carefully, I see what it is. I think of the thought that somebody gave to choosing the gift for me and what it expresses. A gift isn't a gift until you accept it. Yeah? No. Who's going to accept the gift that you get today? Yeah, you, you're all right. I said us. And do you know what I'm going to say? You. Not just us. It is true to say us, but what makes today different, it is for you to say yes, to accept it. And once you do that, that gift keeps on giving <coughs> to your life. Once you have accepted it, and you continue to accept it. How old do you expect to, to be? How, how long do you hope to live? Hmm? 100. Yeah, that's in bed. Yeah, 100 will be it. I, I asked a lad, I asked a group a couple of weeks ago, and one fellow came back. He was very precise. 87. Now, I don't know how he came up with 87, but he said 87. I'm not kidding. The reason I raise it is that with the advance in medicine, all of you can reasonably expect to live long lives. And many of you will reach 100 years of age. That's a lot of living. And you're only getting started. I don't know what the future holds, nor do you. But I can be sure two things will be true. You'll have lots of opportunities, but you'll also have lots of challenges. And the gift that you accept today 
will give to you in 10 years' time, 20 years' time, 50 years' time. It'll keep on giving once you have accepted it and cherished it. It's the oil of gladness. So that's why I say today is an important day, not just for today, but indeed for all the years that lie ahead for you. And my prayer for you is that you will accept it and cherish it all those days. Amen. I invite the candidates for confirmation, if you might stand now, and together we will renew our baptismal promises, and you might respond to each of the questions in a strong and clear voice. And so, my friends, I ask you, do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who came upon the apostles at Pentecost, and today is given to you sacramentally in confirmation? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This, my friends, is our faith. This is the faith of the Church, we are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. The candidates, you might kneel now. My dear friends, 
In baptism, God our Father gave the new birth of eternal life to his chosen sons and daughters. Let us pray to our Father that he will pour out the Holy Spirit to strengthen these his sons and daughters with his gifts and anoint them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. We pray in silence now for those about to be confirmed. I and the priests extend our hands as we pray this prayer of blessing upon you. All-powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Jack, James. Jack, James, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. He's be with you. Zach, David, be sealed. Major Maria, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you.
So let us stand now for the prayers of oh, sorry. the prayers of the faithful. Trusting in God's providence and mercy always at work in our lives, with confidence we offer these our prayers. For Pope Francis, William our Bishop, for all bishops, priests, religious brothers and sisters, and for all who sought the people of God, that they may be effective and tireless teachers of the good news of Jesus. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our parents, guardians, godparents, and sponsors, that God will bless them abundantly for the faith they have passed on to us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our church and part community, that the Holy Spirit may dwell in the life of prayer and charity we share together. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That the Spirit of God will make each one of us a person of peace and forgiveness in our homes and schools. Lord, hear us. Lord, For peace in the world, that the prayer of Christ, after his resurrection, peace be with you, may become a reality for all people. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all who are sick, may they experience the healing touch of Jesus in our care and kindness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We take a moment in the silence of our hearts to raise up to the Lord our personal prayer on this special day. Creator God, in you we live and move and have our being. Each day you show us a Father's love. We ask you these prayers. We make them in faith, trusting that you will grant them through Christ our oh Lord. Amen. Let's be seated for the offertory.
pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive in your mercy, O Lord, the prayers of your servants, and grant that being conformed more perfectly to your Son, they may grow steadily in bearing witness to him as they share in the memorial of his redemption, by which he gained for us your Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Ascending above all the heavens and sitting at your right hand, he poured out the promised Holy Spirit on your adopted children. Therefore now, and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. <clears throat> Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis the First, our Pope, William Crean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. So let us stand now. And with hope and with confidence in our hearts, we pray as the Lord Jesus has taught us to. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the, the sin of the world, have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. And let us kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter in my room, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
Let us stand and pray. Accompany with your blessing from this day forward, O Lord, those who have been anointed with the Holy Spirit and nourished by the sacrament of your Son, so that were all trials overcome, they may gladden your church by their holiness and through their works and their charity foster her growth in the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated for a few moments for some words of thanks and appreciation. I want to thank our bishop, Bishop William Green, for confirming the children here today. I also want to thank Father Niels O'Donnell, who was so helpful yesterday and who was so helpful today, and of course also Father Pat Condon. And I want to thank Miss Feeney, Miss Flynn, and Miss Lane, who put so much work into preparing the confirmation class for today. I want to thank our musician, Mo O'Connor, and our wonderful sacristans, Kathleen Joyce and Josephine Hurley. And I want to thank, as well, the altar servers of whom we are so proud of today. Thank you very much. And he forgot to thank himself. <laughs> and we didn't give any boulevards to the whole lot of them. <clears throat> A day like today is only possible because of the contribution of so many people in so many different respects. Uh, what emerges at the end is a kind of symphony of celebration. And we're immensely grateful to everybody who has participated. Thanks to all of you for your presence and your prayer. And we pray God's blessing upon us as we leave this sacred space uh, it's a solemn blessing in three parts. And as I lower my right hand after each of the parts of the blessing, I invite you to respond, Amen. So let us stand now. The Lord be with you. With your May God, the Father Almighty, bless you, whom he has made his adopted sons and daughters, reborn from water and the Holy Spirit. And may he keep you worthy of his fatherly love. Amen. May his only begotten Son, who promised that the Spirit of truth would abide in his church, bless you and confirm you by his power in the confession of the true faith. Amen. And may the Holy Spirit, who kindles the fire of charity in the hearts of disciples, bless you and lead you blameless and gathered as one into the joy of the kingdom of God. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all this day, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass has ended. We go now in the peace of Christ. <laughs>